Welcome to Budapest. We are only going to spend 24 hours here in Budapest and since it's my first time, I'm having a long list of places I want to see. This is why I'm taking you with me to show you the best places here in Budapest. I'm super early today because we have a full schedule. I have two beautiful things to tell you. The first one is that today's my birthday. So today is a super special day and we are going to spend it the best way. So make sure that you watch this video because I'm going to show you the best places you need to see in Budapest in 24 hours because I chose the best ones for me to spend this special day. And the second beautiful thing is that I am spending this day with two of my favorite people, which are Elias and my sister, Sabina. So we are going together to discover Budapest. We already have a place where we want to try the breakfast, but we keep seeing such beautiful places like a small bakeries, cafes, which are open right now and people are in front of them gathering. And I love this weather. It's absolutely gorgeous because you don't feel too hot and it's not really that cold. We were thinking, oh my God, we are going to be freezing cold, but it's in fact, it's pretty good. Yeah, urban jungle, look. They also wrote here in, at the entrance, 26, open every day. Let's go inside. I am obsessed with this place. Look how beautiful it is. And guys, you need a reservation to make it here. So if you are going to make a reservation, make sure you have your VPN installed because otherwise we think that it will not work or you can come here and queue. So we didn't make a reservation because we were thinking, how busy can it be? But then we had to queue for like 10 minutes, which is exceptional because she told us it will be about 30 minutes, but it was only 10 minutes. So here is the breakfast. And apart from coffee and juices, they have like a super interesting breakfast menu. They have uh, eggs benedict, they, they have shakshuka. They also have vegan options, vegan shakshuka, which I think is so cool. They also have avocado toast, uh, all sorts of porridges and churros and salty churros, which is so cool. So I'm going to love this place. We are right now charging our batteries and then we will go to explore more. my best to show you the most beautiful places here in Budapest and I'm walking around the city for providing you the best information that you can find. Therefore, it doesn't cost you anything but it helps me so much if you leave me a like and if you subscribe to my YouTube channel in case you want to see more of my adventures here in Europe. So we found a market here. Let's check it out. We were not expecting to find it and we did not come for this place on purpose but as we were walking we saw it and I see they have a lot of oh cameras here uh, stickers I see that they're selling a lot of handcrafted objects such as uh, necklaces a lot of earrings a lot of jewelry but they also have cameras they also have sunglasses they also have paintings all sorts of things most of them are new there are some which are also old and i see that they also have two restaurants which are closed right now but opening soon so if we want to make it to the other side to buddha we should cross the river and this is the new over here there is a very beautiful bridge over there and why did i say this so actually budapest is split into two parts we have Buddha on the other side of the river and Pest on this side of the river. And there are two parts which are different. The difference between them is that Buddha is more hilly and is a more historical part. And we are going to go there right now, while Pest is a more economical and cultural side. And we are right now going to visit Buddha Castle, which is part of the UNESCO World Heritage. So in order to make it on the other side, because our accommodation was in the pest area we have to cross this beautiful bridge over the Danube we are right now 
now heading to Buddha Castle. And right on our way, I was looking at this place thinking, wow, that's such a nice palace. But no, actually, this is Four Seasons Hotel. And oh my God, it looks so beautiful. And there's a, like a group of people. They are discussing about it and about the structure and how it was built like a castle. And I want to show you a super beautiful spot. I think for videos, for photos, or for simply watching. So we are right now on past side and over there is Buddha side. But look at this, this is the bridge. We are at the base of the bridge. And this is like for uh, people on the sides and for cars in the middle. And uh, you can see how beautiful and how different it is. You can already see the hills because it's hilly. The reason we chose to walk, even if it's a bit too cold for my jacket right now, is because I wanted to see the city and to show it to you, to show you the beauty of the city, to show you how to go from one side to another. And I love these unexpected places that we find, such as the street market we came across and those places over there in the back. So I know that uh, all along the Danube, you will have many cafes and restaurants where you can dine in and enjoy the view and enjoy the sunset basically and i wish we can find such a place for taking dinner tonight because we want to celebrate my birthday in an epic ending with an epi epic ending and hopefully we'll also have a sunset even if it's a bit too clouded and i think it might rain a bit in the afternoon we are on the bridge right now and i think it's really nice very, very nice <laughs> it's cold so now that we cross the bridge we have a new challenge we want to make it over there up and we don't really know how we saw that there is a funicular let's see if they also have stairs or if we have to take the funicular There is a huge queue for taking the funicular. I think it's super interesting. And the ticket is 5,000 for one way. This is what we saw on the panel. And I think it's really interesting and unique to take it, but there's such a long queue. Ah, we're going to try and see if we can make it to the castle otherwise. And if we can avoid taking the funicular so that we can walk more and discover more. But so that you know, there's this option as well. There is this place selling langosh and I wanted to tell you that langosh is a traditional dish in here. So we have kurtosh kolak which we want to try in langosh which is like a sort of a, how do I explain it to you, a sort of a pastry but it's salty and it usually has uh, cream cheese and cheese on top so it's, it's salty, it's a salty dish, it's very delicious. We'll see if we still have space in our stomach to try it and right now we are searching for an alternative, see if we can make it to the castle by walking and not taking the funicular. I think we found it. So right behind me, this is the queue and we've seen the stairs all the way in the back there next to the funicular. So basically on the both sides, I think you can take the stairs, but I think we found another side. There's also an information point over there, but they are selling tickets to the bus getting you there and in the back oh i will go back to show it to you better so there's another entrance which is right there with black but it's blocked so you cannot go that way and we'll try to cross back the street and see if maybe we can go that way on those stairs we took the stairs and right now there is a sort of a stiff but not too stiff <laughs> way up and uh, i wanted to tell you that this reminds me of when i visited seoul when i went to namsam tower and it was such a beautiful way if you wanted to walk to the top at some point there are these viewpoints that are breathtaking and i'm having one just in front of me
So the surface is so impressive and there's a lot to see. But today and tomorrow there is a festival organized. Therefore, this is the entrance. And normally you don't need any ticket to go inside to see the interior garden. But right now it is closed so you need an extra ticket because there is this festival that you're going to pay for actually. And right there if you go, you have an elevator bringing you to the second floor. We are right now on the first floor. Uh, this is how you see it on the elevator. To the second floor or to the ground floor where you have a coffee place and the ground floor and on the second floor you have like a beautiful overview of the city. So my guess is that the entrances are blocked from the second floor and from the ground floor because of this festival which is being held. Normally they should not be blocked but right now this is the situation we will not go inside to see it. It's nice, it's beautiful. One last suggestion if you don't mind walking the path to make it here is so beautiful and worth it so no need to take the bus or the funicular to make it here. castle in my back look how beautiful it looks like it's even colder than it was oh and the tramway oh, that's so nice uh, and we are going to move on to our next area and uh, we are going for this we are going to come a little bit back to where we were before we made it on Bachi Street we are not sure if this is how you pronounce it but I think Bachi Bachi Street is the correct name the correct pronunciation it's a very lively street. The buildings are so beautiful. It's like a, a sort of a central point in here. There are a lot of places, a lot of places that we At know. This place, yes. Yeah, very a lot nice. of, oh, like this is nice, like in Paris, wow. Uh, coffee place. And there are a lot of famous brands like Zara, you can see H&M in front Bershka, of us. Bershka, all of these brands, uh, Burger of King, McDonald's, uh, like fast food chains, Pandora also we saw. So it's like a famous street full of famous famous brands and with a lot of people so finally we get to see a lot of people in here look that's great that's great we're going to walk a little bit around see what is it about if we can find something else and how big it is yeah how big this place is it, it seems pretty big like a sort of a boulevard going to visit another hotspot in the city and this is a very nice area we are going to go to the palace district, palace yeah. district. and uh, there I don't think we still catch the public library open I think it's already closed right now we made it to the palace district so far it looks very nice this place is famous because it was initially built for the aristocracy of uh, the area which yeah, makes so it so, so special and uh, in the same time here you find the palace of justice and uh, university also the library the public library is closed I will leave you a photo of how it looks like so that you know it's a an important cultural center in here and uh, in the same time you also can find here the National Museum so you can also visit it it's in the same area and uh, I'm giving you the location as well here no bad time for pizza time therefore we think we found one of the best places in here for pizza let's go so we got the pizza here look at this it looks like original Italian pizza yes Elias has quattro formaggi yes. and I have vegetarian and also we found the honey, honey. For honey pizza. for the cotto formaggi because we tried it yeah. with honey it will and be first it's a time. super nice yes, combination we it, yes. so we ordered honey especially let's try. okay let's go 
Today we were super lucky and in the same time super unlucky. Why am I saying this? We were super lucky because it was supposed to rain the whole day, but it didn't. We were super unlucky because it started to rain right now. It's pouring and because my microphone didn't work and you couldn't hear anything I was saying. So I'm gonna do a little voiceover here and I'm going to tell you more about this gorgeous boat trip that we took on the new. You can see that inside they have a restaurant, you can order food, you can eat inside or you can have a drink. This tour is one hour, is a one hour tour and they also have a space outside which is covered. Happily, we could also stay outside and admire the beautiful view of the city by night. This is something I recommend you and you should not miss miss booking such a trip on the noob if you ever visit Budapest. Let me show you more of the beautiful videos we caught on camera. If you like this, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more adventures around the world. I'm also leaving you my Instagram page here because I am also posting their stories and reels from my adventures. So if you want to see more, follow me on Instagram. See you next time. Bye.